This is a lecture on acid, base and salt part 2. This lecture covers the syllabus of CBSE class 10 chapter 2. After attending this lecture, we will be able to describe the properties of acids and bases and differentiate between strong and weak acids and bases. We can categorize a substance as an acid or a base according to the properties displayed by it. Let us learn the properties of acids first. Acids have sour taste. You must have noticed the sour taste of lemon, tamarind, curd, etc. This is caused by the acids present in them. Now see few examples of substances and acids present in them. Like curd, lactic acid. Vinegar, Ethanoic Acid, Lemon Juice, Citric Acid, and ascorbic acid. This ascorbic acid is called vitamin C. Tamarind Tartaric acid Tomato, Oxalic Acid, Antesting, Methanoic Acid, Natalesting, also methanoic acid is present. Now we will see action on indicators. Indicators show different colors in acids like litmus shows a red color in acid. Phenolphthalein Colorless in acid Methyl orange Is red in acid Now we will see conduction of electricity and dissociation of acids. Aqueous solution of acids conduct electricity. When acids are dissolved in water, they produce ions, hydrogen ions, which help in conducting the electricity. These ions do not exist as H plus in the solution but combined with H2O molecule as H plus plus H2O H3O plus it is hydronium ion
this is also represented as h plus aqueous now we will see a strong and weak acids on the basis of the extent of dissociation of acids in their aqueous solutions these are classified as strong and weak acids first a strong acids these completely dissociate in water example nitric acid in the aqueous form gives hydrogen and aqueous plus no3 minus aqueous few examples of strong acids are hydrochloric acid hydrobromic acid hydroiodic acid hclo4 or chloric acid hclo3 chloric acid H2SO4 sulfuric acid HNO3 nitric acid these all are the examples of a strong acids now we will see weak acids these partially dissociate in water example hf aqueous h plus aqueous plus f minus aqueous so there is an equilibrium between the undissociated hydrogen fluoride and the ions furnished by it that is h plus aqueous and f minus aqueous now few examples of weak acids hf ch3coh acetic acid hcn hydrocyanic acid c6h5 coh benzoic acids so these were few examples of weak acids now we will see reactions of acids with metals for understanding this reaction you require a test tube zinc granules dilute hydrochloric acid a match box and a stand what to do you need to set the apertures like this one add zinc granules in the test tube this is test tube zinc granules are added add dilute sulfuric acid
with the help of a glass tube this is dilute sulfuric acid now bring a burning match stick near the mouth of the test tube here you need to bring a burning match stick match stick now observe when dilute sulfuric acid is added to zinc granules a gas bubble rise through the soap solution these bubbles burn with pop sound here confirming it as hydrogen gas this observation says that dilute sulfuric acid reacts with zinc to produce hydrogen gas and the reaction takes place like this one zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen gas so in a general we can say that metal reacts with acid to give salt and hydrogen gas that is metal plus acid gives salt and hydrogen gas next we are going to see reaction of acids with metal carbonates and hydrogen carbonates to understand this reaction you require one test tube one boiling tube thistle funnel delivery tube dilute hydrochloric acid lime water sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate so what to do in this activity take 0.5 gram sodium carbonate in the boiling tube this is sodium bicarbonate and this is boiling tube take 2 ml of freshly prepared lime water here it is lime water in this test tube and 3 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid to the boiling tube this is dilute hydrochloric acid containing sodium carbonate and immediately fix the cork filled with a delivery tube and set the apparatus like this one this is the delivery tube dip the other end of the delivery tube this one in the lime water observe the lime water carefully now observe lime water turns milky after some time it turns clear again this shows the presence of carbon dioxide gas now it concludes that if sodium carbonate react with dilute hydrochloric acid 
carbon dioxide gas is evolved that is sodium carbonate solid plus hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide gas the same result is observed for sodium hydrogen carbonate as well that is sodium hydrogen carbonate plus hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide gas on passing the evolved carbon dioxide gas through lime water it turns milky due to the formation of white precipitate that is calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gas calcium carbonate plus water this calcium carbonate is white precipitate and if excess of carbon dioxide gas is passed it turns clear again due to the formation of water soluble calcium bicarbonate that is calcium carbonate plus water plus carbon dioxide gives calcium hydrogen carbonate this is soluble in water this is water soluble therefore the color becomes clear so in general we can say that metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate plus acid gives salt plus water plus carbon dioxide so this is the general reaction next we are go going to see reaction of acids with metal oxides for this activity you require one beaker glass rod copper oxide and dilute hcl so what to do take a, a small amount of copper oxide in a beaker this a small amount of copper oxide in a beaker add 10 ml of dilute hcl and stir the solution with this glass rod now observe the beaker 
you can now observe that the black particles of copper oxide slowly dissolve and the color of the solution becomes bluish green. It is happened due to the formation of copper chloride that is copper oxide plus hydrochloric acid gives copper chloride plus water. So in general we can say that metal oxide reacts with acid to give salt and water. Now we will see an activity to see the reaction of acids with bases. For this activity you require a test tube, dropper, phenolphthalene, sodium hydroxide solution and dilute hydrochloric acid. Take 2 milliliter of sodium hydroxide. in a test tube. Add one drop of phenolphthalein to it and observe the color. It becomes pink. Add dilute hydrochloric acid drop wise to it and stir it continuously till the color disappears. Now add few drops of sodium hydroxide solution and observe the color again. You can now observe that the pink color is restored. It shows when sufficient hydrochloric acid is added to the sodium hydroxide solution, the basic properties of sodium hydroxide and acidic properties of hydrochloric acid disappears. Thus, such reactions are called neutralization reaction. which result in the formation of salts and water. That is, sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid will react to each other to give sodium chloride plus water. So in general we can say that acid reacts with base to give salt and water. And this reaction is known as neutralization reaction. Now we will see the corrosive nature of acid. The term corrosion with reference to metals refers to various deteriorations processes like rusting. But with reference to acids, it is defined as the ability of acids to attack various substances 
लाइक मेटल्स मेटल ऑक्साइड्स मेटल हाइड्रोक्साइड्स एटसेट्रा वी हैव अ जनरल कॉन्सेप्शन दैट अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड हैज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग कोरोसिव एक्शन बट इट इज नॉट ट्रू फॉर एग्जाम्पल हाइड्रोजन फ्लोराइड एसिड इज अ वीक एसिड एट it is so corrosive that it dissolves even glass and the reaction goes like this one silicon oxide this is glass plus hydrogen fluoride reacts to give silicon tetrafluoride plus water so the fluoride ion attacks silicon atom while hydrogen ion attacks oxygen atom and thus dissolves the glass next is properties of bases first we will see its taste and touch bases have a bitter taste and their solution are soapy to touch action on indicators indicators show different color in bases like litmus shows blue color in base phenolphthalein shows pink color in base and methyl orange shows yellow color in base now conduction of electricity and dissociation of bases so like acids bases also dissociate on dissolving in water to produce hydroxyl ion which are responsible for electric conductivity like sodium hydroxide dissolves in water to give sodium ion plus hydroxyl ion one thing which is notable here that the bases which are soluble in water are called alkalies now we will see a strong and weak bases first a strong bases these bases are completely dissociated in water so example sodium hydroxide aqueous sodium plus aqueous plus hydroxyl ion aqueous so these are completely dissociated in water few examples for a strong bases are 
लिथियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड रूबीडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सीसीएम हाइड्रोक्साइड कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड स्ट्रेंशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड बेरियम हाइड्रोक्साइड दीज आर दी हाइड्रोक्साइड्स ऑफ ग्रुप वन एंड ग्रुप टू एलिमेंट्स now weak bases these bases are partially dissociated in water example ammonium hydroxide ammonium ion plus hydroxyl ion few examples of weak bases are copper hydroxide ammonium hydroxide chromium hydroxide zinc hydroxide etc now we will see reaction of bases with metals like acids these also react with metals liberating hydrogen gas example zinc plus 2 sodium hydroxide gives sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas reaction of bases with non metal oxides these react with non metal oxides like carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide sulfur trioxide phosphorus penta oxide etc to form salt and water one example calcium hydroxide plus carbon dioxide gives calcium carbonate plus water in general we can say that base plus non metal oxide gives salt plus water next is caustic action A strong bases like sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide are corrosive towards organic matter and break down the proteins of the skin and flesh to a pasty mass. This action is called caustic action. Due to this property, 
sodium hydroxide is called caustic soda and potassium hydroxide is called caustic potash now it's time to test yourself so few questions are here first is dash is called caustic potash second sodium hydroxide is dash base third metal carbonate plus acid gives dash and water fourth lime water turns dash on passing carbon dioxide fifth hydrogen gas is tested with dash sound so find the answer for these questions from the lecture and write it in the comment box name of first 10 students will be shown in part 3 of this lecture in part 3 of this lecture we will study dissociation of acids and bases and ph and its importance so for that time being stay subscribed see you soon